Hello and welcome to the computergargar.com uh, video for trading Star Wars credits effect in your PowerPoint presentations. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I have my presentation open here uh, with a slide background of uh, stars and a kind of universe effect. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is insert the a text box onto our slide, uh, which will contain the text uh, that will be our credits that we want to have uh, scrolling up the slide and kind of disappearing into the distance. So I'm just going to click on my insert tab here and go for a text box. I'm going to draw this uh, anywhere onto the slide, so I'll try and get it as central as I believe I can but we can always uh, tidy that up more in a moment and type in the, the text that I want to use and then maybe format it to make it look a little bit better on the, the background that I'm using Let's make it a little bit larger Enter a line. Okay. The next step would be to make sure that, that text box is centered to the slide. Now, with the text box selected, I'm just going to go to the arrange button, into a line, and a line center. Okay, you moved a little bit, but not too much. Happy with that. I'm now just going to drag it down and off the slide to the bottom so that when we create the effect it actually comes into the slide disappearing at the top. Uh, as I click and drag the text box down there I was holding down the shift key that just helped to make sure that it stayed in its alignment and uh, it didn't stray if I didn't have good control on the mouse. Okay the exciting bits now uh, time to start to put in the animation and actually create this effect. Let's go to our animations tab and for custom animation. The task pane will open on your right hand side here and we're going to go straight to the add effects button. We're going to go for a motion path effect and it's going to have the direction of up. Now that will give you a little preview of what's going to happen um, but you'll see that the, the motion path isn't very long at the moment, it only stops yeah, about a quarter onto our slide. So I'm just going to click on the red arrow showing the end of the motion path and then click and drag it upwards, maybe finishing around about there, I think. And on your right hand side, I'm then going to just change some of the settings. I want it to start on click, unlocked, but I'm going to change the speed. I want it to be a lot slower than that, I want it to be very slow. And there's a, a little uh, representation of that. Okay, next effect. Just going to click back onto my text box. It seems to have deselected itself. I'll come back to add effect. And I'm going to go for an emphasis effect of grow shrink. We're going to use the shrink uh, aspect of this. Uh, so on your right hand side where you have your settings again. This time we're going to choose to start with previous, so that it will shrink at the same time as it is moving up the slide. I'm going to set the size to be a lot smaller, because I want the shrink part of it, down to 50%, and the speed once again will also be very slow. Okay. Uh, last step now, back to add effect again for a third and final animation. This is going to be an exit animation, uh, and we're going to use the fade exit effect. Now you probably won't see it in this list when you try it yourself. We have to go to more effects and find it in the, the subtle section within here. It's only because I've used it recently that it's uh, appeared in that list for me. If we click OK and once again similar to what we did with the shrinking effect we need it to start with previous so all three animations happen at the same time and I'm going to set it to slow, very slow. Okay, uh, that should be it. 
That is how you create a uh, Star Wars credits uh, effect within your PowerPoint presentations. Uh, thank you for listening to the, the video. Uh, check out some of the other videos that we offer on uh, the computergargod.com uh, YouTube channel uh, or find us on Facebook.